Hello, today's devotional can be found in Helaman chapter 10, verse 4, in the Book of Mormon. Blessed art thou, Nephi, for those things which thou hast done. For I have beheld how, the, how thou hast with unweariness, weariness, declared the word which I have given unto thee, unto this people. And thou hast not feared them, and hast not sought thine own life, but hast sought my will, and to keep my commandments. Oh, please, please seek to do good. No matter what religion or, or whatever you choose in your life, please seek to do good. I mean, not everybody's going to be comfortable or willing to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ after they have obtained it with a surety. Because people fear talking to other people and they fear for their own lives. And... And that's not bad, but we shouldn't fear when God is on our side. We shouldn't fear when God is with us. That doesn't mean we should do anything stupid when God is with us, because he might just let it happen to teach us a lesson because we knew what we were doing was bad and dangerous. Because he can't interfere in our agency, but why? Why should we be afraid to declare the gospel of Jesus Christ? It is a complete gospel. It has answers. Some that require a little more work than others. And we shouldn't be afraid to just share what we know to be true, what is true in our eyes. Of course, not everybody is going to believe it. Some may even, I don't know, hate it, but at least we tried. When we seek the Spirit of God, obtain it, and go about spreading righteousness, without fear, we shall be blessed when we seek the Lord's will in all things. We shall be blessed beyond measure. And the Lord knows us better than we know ourselves, so he will show us what he wants us to do, and, and he will provide a way that we may be able to accomplish what he asks us to do if we so do it willingly. But if we so fear and refuse, then we'll, we will be only cheating ourselves. Because the work of God cannot be frustrated. Only we can get frustrated and possibly disqualify ourselves from having a hand in participating in the work of God. Because the work of God will not be frustrated. But we should seek to participate in it, that we might be able to learn something and share our knowledge with others. Because it's our sacred responsibility as mortals to help the world one person at a time, help the world realize that they don't have to flounder in darkness for the atonement of Jesus Christ has provided an opportunity for the world to be enlightened and freed from their eternal bondage, if they so choose. But everyone's got their free agency whether or not they want to seek the Lord and His goodness. And I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. And I love you all.